On Tuesday, 8 May, the annual World Press Freedom Day was commemorated, discussing the sustainability of Namibian media with panelist Joseph Alongo, Herman Wasserman, Gwen Lister, Stanley Semata, Amor Basson, and Isaac Hamata. According to research findings released at the commemoration, falling advertising revenues, social media platforms, and exodus of senior journalists are some of the factors contributing to the decline of traditional media enterprises. Lecturer at NAST, the communication department, in the media section. One of the most critical things about journalists is, is information. Um, they give us the information. They report about what's going on. But there's also a second part of me that is also very critical, and that in, involves what is the responsibility of, of, a, of a journalist? Be free to write more other stuff. Man. But write stories about real life also, you see. We need a bit of inspiration over here. You check what I'm saying? Okay, with press freedom. Simple, tell it like it is, number one. It's a golden rule, you have to. Just tell it like it is. We are, we are living in an era of fake news. Um, we have a lot of people who are very anti-journalists today. That, that is not good, and I want to pray that that is going to improve with time because Namibia is one of the countries which, is, um, which journalists are able to freely practice what they're doing. Um, on the other hand, I hope uh, wh one of the things I would love to see improved on is investigative journalism. From what I have gathered in the eight years I've worked here is that journalists are scared of getting deep. This is Carlton Klassen, the Namibian News.